not a fan of cliches because so many of them become cliches or they become cliched. But here's one I do like. Some days you are the windshield and some days you are the bug. Let's break that down. Some days we feel like we are more than conquerors. We are the windshield. And on other days, we feel very much conquered. We're the bug and um, we get splattered by life. In the model prayer, sometimes we call it the Lord's Prayer. There's this part that, well, I love all the parts of it, but one part that just, I keep coming back to a lot where Jesus says, give us this day our daily bread. In the Passion Translation, it says this, and it's in the form of a prayer. We acknowledge you as our provider of all we need each day. Give us this day our daily bread. We acknowledge you as our provider of all we need each day. So when Jesus initially gave this model prayer, he gave it to people who didn't often know where tomorrow's bread would be coming from. No refrigeration, um, no first world amenities, very day by day or day to day. Give us this day, our daily bread. It harkens back to manna in the wilderness where this, this flaky white stuff that wasn't snow fell from the sky. And it was kind of like tofu. You could make anything out of it. And with the exception of one day a week, the Sabbath, um, today's bread, today's manna would not feed people tomorrow. In fact, it would rot. So Jesus says, give us this day our daily bread. Bread there becomes a metaphor of our emotional, mental, spiritual, social, physical needs. It really encompasses all of life's essentials. Give us this day our daily bread. Here's the part that I really like. That is just as true on our bug days as it is true on our windshield days. God provides everything we need, not everything we want, but everything we need physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, socially, on an as needed basis. It sounds a little bit like the book of Lamentations where the prophet says, God's mercies are new every morning. On my bug days when I'm splattered because of life, my health issues. I don't notice the bread nearly as much because God gets creative about how God provides what God alone knows we need. We have to stay on the alert because God is going to sustain us every single day. Grace and peace.